Hello, good evening. So, you see, the ancient block is empty, but I want to show you something. Um, the 650 has a little bit weak bearings for the push rod, and you can see this push rod, it's shiny. Normally it has to be black. Why black? Because there is no movement and carbon can build there up and stays there. But when it is shiny, something has moved. So, first sign. Yeah, I know, this one uh, is standing a lot of his life with liquid coolant on top of the piston. Then you get those nice, nice and shiny pistons. But now the bearings. So, one of the bearings set, look there, the engine is still running very well, you don't see it, you don't feel it, you don't hear it. That's a very soft alloy on top of it, you can scratch it with your nail. When that is grind away by normal use, you get a harder layer, like steel. And when that is gone, you get a bronze, copper, messing colored product. That's the carrier of the bearing, that's it made from. At the moment I don't see the brass color, but there is a little spot there. And that tells me this bearing is worn out. Let me explain more. I can see lines, groovements, polishing. And that is the harden the materials there, and you have to stop there. You have to replace those bearings now. If you go farther, it will damage your crankshaft or more. Also there, black, yes, yeah, good, no problem. I told you about the push rod, but also what I do see is in coloring, this coloring from black. That is moisture, liquid, water, vapor, or something like that. The other side, it's completely grey, ok, that's not the biggest problem, I can see a failure there, and that's a strange, you can see almost the layering on top of it, I think a liquid water or something like that has killed this bearing, it's very strange, because there is no uh, special material left, there's only the carrier of the material from the bearing itself and that's not what I want to see so there it is gone, completely gone so this bearing is also rubbish let's see the other one also a piston also staying a very long time in the engine doing nothing moisture black and almost the top layer is gone and we're going to a hard layer and that is not what we want because that will damage your crankshaft the crankshaft I think is 100% usable for the next time but this one not the other side maybe you can see something there that's the grey material I like to see that's also one out but this one ok no problem not a big problem you can see lines that's dirt from the factory. When you start up your engine, dirt will grind a strip, a strip or a line inside your bearing. Yes, more cars do have that, more engines do have that, because the employment was not working very clean. Then the pistons. You can see the pistons rings are clogged to the piston itself, and when I'm going to drive this. There is no compression, very, oh there's the oil, oil, oil scrape rings are also seized, this is also a problem. You can't buy new ones, maybe in America there is one guy that has them, I prefer to take them from a special car and uh, cut out the groove inside the piston from 1 mil to 1.2 mil and the oil pistons ring are the same and it runs very well, I know the other one, same problem, liquid coolant has destroyed almost this piston and also those compression rings or the one is loose, but the top is stuck and the oil scrapers are stuck too, 
so I can throw this away. So I hope uh, this information will uh, provide you with uh, pleasure to work on your engine. I hope. And now I'm going to take out the crankshaft. Maybe it will go in one piece. Let me check. Because I want to have this baby ready tonight. Um, I, fuck it. I need a tool. No, it won't. Okay. Please, look the other way. No, still not working. <laughs> uh.